Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product that is King Tony ALR uh, It's an ESP32 LoRa gateway And in this video I will show you this uh, PCB hardware resource details And in future I will introduce you the software solution of this ALR board At the first look, let's look at this uh, PCB design You can see uh, this is a ESP32 LoRa board And you can see uh, this time I have used this ESP32 S3 and also we have used this N16R8 large memory size ESP32 module and uh, this is the LoRa chip SX1278 and also it's removable so if you want to use different frequency of the LoRa module, so you can just remove it and plug it into a new one. And the default, we have used 433 MHz LoRa module. And here have some buttons, that is ESP32 reset and download board. So sometimes uh, the ESP32 S3 uh, need to enter the download mode, so you need to press this button. And this is USB-C cable And this has one relay This relay has max support 10 ampere As you can see, the max support 10 ampere And this socket also is removable So you can see, you can remove this socket And this is relay uh, for calm And normal open and normal close So this is three terminal for this relay output And this is DC power supply And you can see that will support 9 to 24 volts so the voltage will support widely and this have a LCD display SSD1306 uh, this is uh, a I2C display and you can see uh, this have uh, installed the display and this you can see that have a DIP switch uh, this used for set 8-bit LoRa address for different board, uh, you can see every board uh, will have this switch, just the DIP switch, so that you can set this for on and for off, and this cover for protect the parts uh, for on and for off, just set for zero or for, for one, the logical zero of logical one, so that will be easy to set the different address of LoRa, and this terminal we can remove it and that will be easy to see this one you can see uh, that have some label on the PCB the 4 channel analog input 0 to 10 volt signal input and the HT1 that means one wire interface you can connect one wire such as the DS18B20 temperature sensor or DHT humidity and temperature sensor just one GPIO that have connect pull up resistant and this is D1 that means a digital input so this have a digital input also have long distance we have designed you can connect with any dry contact sensor and this is the extend I2C interface and you can see SDA and SCL and this is 3 volt and this is ground so this smart board will work with LoRa by the ESP32 we have write the Arduino source code for send and for receiver so these two different hardware is seen but you can download the receive and download the send Arduino source code uh, for test I have test in a, a open space uh, it worked with 400 and 500 meters is no problem I have test on the load at the night and also you can see this is a Wi-Fi antenna interface uh, this Wi-Fi antenna interface you can connect the Wi-Fi antenna from this one for testing and also you can use this board installed into a waterproof box uh, you can see uh, this is the cover and this can use for waterproof and you can see if you can put it here, put it here, and put this box onto it, so that uh, will be installed on the outside of the room. 
So that will install uh, outside, uh, maybe use for agriculture and maybe install on your farmer. So that will be have a display, uh, easy to display the LoRa signal and easy for display sound state of communication because it, it will install outside the room, maybe not beside of your computer. And if you use this box, and you can see uh, they are have some different antenna for different DB. I can't see where, which antenna is the best. That you need, need to test uh, in your situation. So you can easily uh, use this SMA socket, you can see. SMA socket, you can easily to connect uh, to this one. So this cable, uh, you can go out, go through this hole. You can see, go through this hole. Uh, maybe you release line and the power and uh, the Wi-Fi and, and the LoRa antenna. And you can go through this one. Okay, this is the hardware details. And uh, now we also have developing the components uh, for Home Assistant because the ESP Home not support LoRa chip directly and the Kinkley Software Development Team have uh, development and design these components in future uh, that will be on the testing now. So if you have news, I will make new video talk to introduce you how to integrate to Home Assistant because maybe you will use one board for a gateway and maybe you have many different terminal board uh, maybe you have one two three and maybe you have many different LoRa board uh, this board can work with one LoRa gateway so that you can uh, get the temperature uh, wirelessly uh, for hundreds of meter distance and get different sensor state uh, to the LoRa a gateway and the LoRa gateway will integrate to Home Assistant by MQTT or by another way and that will have uh, testing and uh, when we have results I will make a video toy. Okay this is our LoRa board uh, ALR. Uh, if you can write your code you, that will be support uh, Arduino IDE and the micro person and the ESP IDF development tool you can choose to develop uh, your own firmware. Yes, also is okay. Okay, thanks for watching.